How to Lose Weight While Eating Out Are you tired of sticking to your diet and missing out on all the fun of eating out? Well, today we've got some useful tips for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can lose weight while still enjoying your favorite restaurants and delicious meals. So get ready to savor the flavor and shed those pounds. Hey there, this is Jenny. Welcome to the ultimate guide on how to lose weight while eating out. Whether you are undergoing a weight loss program or simply keeping your shape and health, you may be advised to follow a strict recipe. This can be time-consuming and involve extra effort to prepare food at home. You may also find it challenging to resist the temptations of restaurant menus. Being a busy business person or a career woman, this practice is even harder if you have social events like cocktails and banquets every night or constantly on the fly. While that's understandable, I've got you some simple tips and tricks to help you stay on track with your healthy weight. So let's dive right in. The first tip is to follow the basic principle. A rigid diet recipe is intended to help you follow a principle in making good food choices. When you grasp the basic eating principle, you have the knowledge to mix and match the food combinations that are available to you. Here I introduce the simple 4-3 eating principle. By following the 4-3 eating principle, it helps you make good food choices easily in most restaurants. By 4-3, it means a principle of picking from four types of food that apply to three meals a day. These four group types refer to carbohydrates, protein, vegetables, and fruits. Take one portion from each group in each meal. Therefore, each day you will have a total of three servings of carbohydrates including grains, bread, rice, potato, spaghetti, etc. 3 servings of lean protein. It can be from meat sources including fish, chicken, beef, pork, etc. or non-meat sources including milk, egg, bean, etc. 3 servings of vegetables including green leaf vegetables such as spinach, kale, romaine lettuce, and culinary vegetables such as cucumber, tomato, onion, etc. 3 servings of fruits. That would be any kind of fruit such as apple, orange, cherry, or blueberry. Having one portion from each category for each meal, three meals a day, you will get a balance of protein for muscle development, fruits and vegetables for antioxidants, fiber, and vitamins, as well as carbohydrates for energy. You may also consider using a comprehensive health supplement to give you essential nutrients for overall well-being. Secondly, control your portions. So how much is a portion when we talk about serving size? Some may find it hard to determine why you won't have access to a scale or other measuring device while eating out. An easy way to roughly figure out the portion is by using your own body ratio. Without complicated calculations, this method is handy, convenient, and also in proportion to your body size and weight. A portion of fruit, say an apple, is similar to the size of your fist. A portion of protein can be a steak with the size and thickness of your palm without counting the fingers. A portion of carbohydrate is a bread or bowl of rice around the volume of your fist. While vegetables carry no calories, there is no limit to your daily consumption. The minimum quantity per meal would be roughly the size of your fist when they are cooked. For raw leafy vegetables, it would be the size of about two fists. Also note that you can always control the portion by sharing the food with others or boxing up part of your dish to take home before you start eating. In this way, you do not overeat without being aware of it or simply under the pressure of clearing the dish. Tip number three, eat at the right speed and order. A healthy diet that helps weight loss is not only the kind of food you take in. The sequence and speed of eating are also important in maintaining a healthy weight. Taking the fruit first helps you feel full and the enzyme in fruit is crucial for our metabolism and food digestion. Carbohydrates, on the other hand, are broken down into glucose or blood sugar, which is the main source of energy for your body's cells, tissues, and organs. Glucose is fast absorbed by our bodies. So having carbohydrates at the end of the meal helps us to avoid taking in too much, thus reducing sugar intake. Therefore, if possible, try to have your meals in the following order, start with fruit, then vegetables to proteins, and finish with carbohydrates. Another consideration is the speed of eating. It takes time for our brain to acknowledge the situation of our body. We may only be aware we are already too full 10 or 15 minutes after our action. Eating too fast will allow this 10 or 15 minute time gap for us to keep eating until it's much more than we need to. So slow down when you eat and enjoy the meal. Our next tip is to be mindful beyond the food. Take a look at your dishes. 
Anything in your dishes and on the table counts towards your weight. The fat and sauces over the fish, the drinks next to your main course, and how the foods are cooked all contribute to the calories you intake. Generally, use dishes using less oil, less sauce, and cook at a lower heat. Choose poaching, steaming, blanching over roasting, deep frying, or sautéing. Opt for water, unsweetened iced tea instead of sugary sodas, cocktails, and wine. They only bring excessive calories. As you see in the above eating sequence, there is no place for dessert, so skip or take moderately the so-called comfort food especially after the main course. Stay mindful as they are not comforting for a healthy weight. Tip number five, make healthier substitutions. Don't be afraid to ask for modifications to your order. Swap out those greasy fries for a side salad or steamed veggies. Choose lean proteins like grilled chicken or fish instead of fried options. And when it comes to dressings or sauces, ask for them on the side so you can control the amount you use. At most restaurants, you can achieve a balanced diet towards a healthy and slim body shape without sacrificing flavor. However, sometimes it's harder to do so. For example, if you have short lunch breaks or dining time, or for other reasons have meals at fast food restaurants. My little tip for that is a little preparation. Bring a handy fruit, a small apple and some vegetables which can be taken raw, a tomato or sliced cucumber. This can supplement the lack of vegetables in fast food. In some cases, you can still find healthier selections. For example, if you lunch at a hamburger fast food, there are still choices of grilled chicken burger and a salad. The final tip is to get some extra help. One of the problems when you eat outside is the food are usually oily. You can choose to have lean meat at home but not in restaurants as fatty food usually appears more attractive and delicious. While you may not have control over the food provided in restaurants, you can still do some preparation work. There are supplements in the market made from cactus extract which help reduce fat and sugar absorption by the body. So taking the supplements before a fatty meal keeps you on track with your weight loss journal. And there you have it, my practical tips for losing weight while eating out. It's all about grasping the basic eating principle, making conscious choices, and enjoying your meals with appropriate portion intake. So go ahead, explore new restaurants, and have fun with your friends and family, all while staying on track towards your weight loss goals. We hope you found these tips helpful and inspiring. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay healthy and stay happy. Bon appétit!